Spiritual detachment, a very powerful principle. It's also one of the most misunderstood. Don't fall victim to the imitators and the fakers out there. That's what we're going to look at coming up today. Well, you've probably run across the idea of spiritual detachment in Buddhist teachings. It's very common there. It's actually very common in any true religion, in any true body of real understanding. But it's also one of the most misunderstood. Uh, it leads to, the misunderstanding of it leads to a life of pretense, pain, unnaturalness. You know, there are actually entire schools, spiritual schools, where the idea of detachment is taught and imitated. Essentially, schools full of fakers and imposters. And you may not have gone to one of these schools, but if you've experimented with detachment, you've probably felt the effects of misunderstanding it. And the, one of the effects would be a tremendous sense of pretense. You know, if you go to one of these schools, I've actually seen video of some of these schools where Detachment is what you are aiming for, and when you have become rightly detached, you no longer have highs and lows. You're very stable. And they're a million miles away from the essence of true detachment. You know, when you're truly detached, you are alive. You're not monotone, humdrum. When you see somebody who is portraying their best idea of detachment and you and you catch this monotone carefulness in their demeanor you're you're watching an imposter you're watching a faker real detachment allows you to be truly alive because in real detachment you can move in an instant this way this way. Somebody can walk up to you and say, I don't like that shirt. And because real detachment has become a part of your way of living, that comment doesn't turn into the seed of anger. It doesn't have anything to land upon. And so the response might be, really, what don't you like about it? Instead of faking a response like that and then stewing on it for the next three hours, you find out why the person doesn't like the shirt, and then you move on. A small example. But it's important to realize detachment lets you live. Detachment does not keep you confined in a box. It lets you be expressive because there's not something in there, in your psychology, in your head, that is measuring you. Making sure that you stay within the confines of what a real spiritual person should behave like and look like. A real spiritual person is very unpredictable. They allow room for you to be who you are because there's room inside of them to be who they themselves are. There's something that is in a state of receptivity that can catch something and a burst of life comes forth from that. So when you find these people 
And start with yourself because more than likely, whether it's detachment or some other spiritual idea that hasn't been fully understood, but instead you're trying to apply to life, real spiritual understanding, you don't have to apply it. Let me change it. Initially, you'll apply it in order to begin to understand it. But when it really becomes a part of you, you aren't working to be detached. You're not working to be kind. You're not working to be anything. Life is moving you in a pure fashion. So when you come across somebody who you know is caught in the pretense of imitating an idea instead of having that idea having become embodied within them, you'll understand where they are. Maybe the, the, the detachment within you will give them extra room to see what they are, to see what they no longer need to be a part of, to see that it's okay to just let go and be in this moment. It's okay to not have some image that you're trying to measure yourself against and make sure that everybody who's in the room with you sees you as measuring up to that image. You can go quiet if you need to go quiet to listen to the moment, to listen for instruction, to listen for what the very next thing is that life wants you to say. And you'll find that this, this real spiritual detachment is giving you an entryway into real life. that you never knew was a possibility before. So turn your back on that nature that wants to imitate ideas, that wants to imitate detachment, that wants to be seen a certain way. And just begin to notice that detachment gives you direct access to the fullness, the vibrance of life. Then as you learn about it, share your insights with us down in the comments. Tell us what you've learned about real detachment. Tell us what you discover about it that you would have never thought was possible. And as always, we'll keep the exploration going.